hello users welcome back so in today's video we will going to learn how to deploy ORDS on a production server or the server which we want to run on the server it's quite complication okay uh, today we are going let me start again today we are going to learn how to run ORDS on application server which is deployed on a server on the cloud or on your on locally or your physical machine I should say okay so let's learn so now I am using Apache Tomcat you can use any of the uh, web server which you feels just we need one only thing that it sh should run jar or war file I am using Apache Tomcat as it is free version over here so let me install this one so mine one is 64 bit and it is windows so i will just install installer right now 9 mb Question. so we can open this we press yes we press continue I agree if yeah we want host manager example yeah pause okay so we will not run it on 8080 we will run on 85 I should say AGP board okay fine Tomcat 9 for ORDS okay so yeah through this process you were able to learn how to learn how to install or uh, Apache Tomcat also okay so we provide over here username and password we press next so here it is my GRE okay so it is providing me over here let's change it change the location as I don't want to place over here so I will provide it in E under a Tom cat so we have a E Tom cat folder over here okay let's install that one So here it is. So let me check out. It could be 85. I think so. It was the 85, sir. So here we can see Apache Tomcat 9.0.4 has been successfully installed in our system. Okay. So let us go to the ORDS which we have already configured okay remember guys you can remove all these stuffs except the conf folder which you have placed I have already provided you information do not to remove conf folder or change the, if you want to change the conf folder path then please let me know in the comments I will put in video for that also but what happens if you do so you can have a try on that and let and if you want so I can provide you in this video also how to do how what would the impact if you remove the con folder I will show you within a few minutes let me go with one round of this one then in the last we can do that on that part also it is not working okay so once you have deployed you need to restart the server for the first time if you don't want to do that we do have some other options also tomcat 9 tomcat 9 ORDS which we have already named we can press restart and it is done ok 85 
yes it is running right now mm -hmm. so, yeah so you are unable to see images over here okay now what would you do go to tomcat go to conf go to server.xml added that one nope just go little bit more down more so in web apps so here you will provide it can be done in two ways first you can provide an entry in server.xml if you don't want to do that one a simple and the easiest way I should say it is go to the apex images copy images folder go over here it is tomcat web apps just paste all the files over here images folder it is 171 MB okay don't worry it will not harm your web uh, Apache Tomcat it is the easiest way I should say it doesn't require any Server restart or something. If we change and do change in the server XML, then we need to have a restart of the Apache. If we don't want to have a restart, we can provide in images and provide and rename them images to I. Then our ORDS will pick all those files. So we can wait for two minutes. Let me pause this video until this whole files get copied to one location to another location. So here are last five seconds. It is gone now. So we go to the images path. We just write I. We don't have to restart this server. And we can simply run over here. Yeah. So let me check out what is our new workspace name. This is the fresh workspace I have installed for you. There is no application in this. There is no web service in this. But then there would be a default one. Yeah, here is one. And for rest web service, there is also one default. This is the same. We can go to the get. It is a default select star from EMP. I will, I will, uh, here is the JSON format. If we check it on json validator or something it will be a you can open it anyway i'm opening three of them they all will show that it is a valid json uh, valid json validated json see valid json okay now if i provide over here valid json see all the JSON format are valid here. So here it here you can see the result. Okay. So all the all the format are validation validated. So this is the example of get. I cannot show you put and post as I would be needing a 
separate session for that one we would be discussing regarding web services only at that point of time in this video we will just we need to just conf um, sorry in this video we will only discuss about the web server and the ORDS how to install and configure ORDS in Oracle Oracle ORDS in Apache Tomcat or another server it is the same process you just need to upload and all those stuffs okay so if you want to run it and check it on the manager side you can simply go over here is the manager app it will prompt you the username and password which we have configured in this charting so here it is ORDS here it is I choose your file where your wall is deployed and just upload that one okay so here it is here I rest my video now hope you have a great day and let me know if you if you want further videos for any more or you have any for more queries on any of the topic which I have already shown to you yeah and last but not the least I have already told in the between that yeah what happens if we remove our configuration folder while even between running also it will impact same for example here are ORDS conf okay let not remove it we should rename it a conf okay then also it, it is the same thing it will not find its configuration it is working fine okay maybe it is picking it from the cache itself let me check over here it is working strange now it's a target for me to destroy this one so I will just restart my Tomcat go to the ORDS come on now show me an error yeah succeed it cannot find haha here we go you can write out anything you want it won't work mm -hmm. here you can see it has made a new con folder but in that con folder all the things would be empty to achieve that one you need to have same thing just rename that con folder we start the server or we start the only the tom uh, only the ORDS also it will work for the same it can be restart from the manager console of Tomcat come on ta -da! it is running up and running again Hope you like my video. Please do like, share and comment. Thank you. Have a great day.